Hello YouTube. I wanted to briefly show everyone how to fix the vast majority of charging issues with the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, these methods also work with about any Nintendo handheld actually. Um, I know it works with the DSi, the DSi XL, 3DS, and 3DS XL. And I believe the Game Boy Advance SP as well. But basically, when you plug in your charger, if it doesn't charge your battery at all, um, the vast majority of times it's caused by people uh, tripping over their charger cord while it's plugged in. And what that does is it either bends two little pins that connect inside this charging port, or it actually uh, breaks the charging port partly off of the motherboard. So the way to tell the difference normally is if when you plug in your charger, if you angle it up slightly, you don't want to use much force, but if you angle it up slightly, if it starts charging again, then likely it'll be the really, really easy fix. It'll just be the two little pins have been bent in. And uh, I'll show you guys how to fix that. Basically all you need is one tool. You need a sewing needle. Um, any kind of needle will do. Basically you want to look inside there. Flip it around here. Um, you want to go with these one at a time. I don't know if you can see it, but there's two little pins. And so you gently pry them up until you can see that they're up just a little bit. And it really helps to look at a friend's 3DS to see how their uh, pins are. So you pry them up one at a time. And then uh, you plug it in and see if it works. And if that might fix it if you have to um, angle it down like that from this angle. Or if you're up, you angle it up. However, if you angle it and it doesn't do anything at all still, then most likely you've actually broken the charging port partly loose from the motherboard. That's a bit more tricky, but it's still doable, and you don't have to buy any replacement parts whatsoever. Um, essentially, you just take off this battery cover, take out your battery, then you will take off this bottom plastic piece. It has uh, nine screws. They're a little tricky, and it helps that you put your screwdriver in there, and then put a pair of pliers to turn the screwdriver, because you do not want to strip these screws. Um, and there's one there as well. You take that off and you pry it up like so and you make sure you get these little cables off carefully and then all you have to do is you want to look at the charging port see if there are any broken leads there are six different leads on this thing but normally it's only the middle two or possibly the next two outer from it uh, and basically you just want to take any soldering iron that has a needle tip preferably it can be cheap soldering iron. You get these for like 15 bucks. And uh, you basically find the point that looks like it's got a little crack in it near the motherboard and a little wire lead on the charging port. And you just hold the soldering iron on that solder for two seconds, no more. Pull it off. And uh, you can test it without putting it all back together. You just kind of. Uh, Hold the battery in there, hold that in place, and then you plug the charger in. If it works, then you fix it. If not, try uh, try um, heating up the other leads one at a time for two seconds each. And so that's how you solve uh, about any charging problem with uh, Nintendo 3DS or a few other Nintendo systems. Um, it's pretty easy. It takes the needle trick literally takes like a minute or less. The soldering trick probably 20. Most of that's waiting for the soldering iron to heat up. So, this is really easy guys. You don't need any special screwdrivers except these tiny uh, Phillips, which you can get anywhere for like two bucks. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend this, attempting this before selling your 3DS as parts. And also another thing I noticed is after you've done this, if you plug your charger in and it's really, really hard to pull out, then try a different charger. Try a... Uh, your friend's charger or something and I recommend only official Nintendo because some of those generic ones don't fit well to begin with but they really really don't fit well after you've tripped on the cord because sometimes not only does it mangle your DS port it also mangles the tiny little connector of whatever charger you happen to have plugged in when you tripped on your cord um, so there you go that's uh, how you fix most every single charging problem 
with Nintendo 3DS. These are very, very common and fairly easy to do. So, uh, good luck.